Today at 7.12 in the morning, Lomita Sheriff Station received a call of a solo vehicle collision in Har Harbor or Hawthorne Boulevard, north of Palos Verdes Drive. We arrived on scene at 7.18 a.m. and discovered a solo vehicle collision and the sole occupant was, again, uh, Tiger Woods and uh, deputies at the time, they did not see any evidence of impairment, anything that uh, of concern. Obviously, the, the life-setting measures that had to be taken for the occupant of the vehicle, and uh, Chief Osby will speak to that regard. And it was a solo vehicle. Unfortunately, during the course of the investigation of this, there was another traffic collision that happened with people being looky-loose. And but that, thankfully, there was no injuries associated with it. The vehicle traveled several hundred feet from the center uh, center divider at the intersection and rested on the on the west side of the road in the brush. Sustained major damage to the vehicle. You've seen all the images of that. And um, with that, our Lomita Sheriff Station will be conducting the traffic investigation. And it'll take from days to several weeks to get the whole thing together. Once the in, the investigation is completed, we will provide a, a, a detailed uh, report. It'll be available you know, based on Public Record Act request, and we will not discuss any further after that point. But at this point, I want to introduce uh, Chief Darrell Osby, L.A. County Fire Department. Upon arrival of the scene of the incident with sheriffs on scene, uh, resources and personnel from the Los Angeles County Fire Department observed a single rollover vehicle incident with one person trapped. The person trapped uh, uh, was extricated by the Los Angeles County Fire Department personnel. Earlier, it was stated that the jaws of life was utilized to extricate the person trapped. It was later determined by our personnel that a hologan tube, which is used for prying, and an ax was also used to pry the person free from the vehicle. The person was packaged at the incident in stable condition with serious injuries, and because of the fact that they needed to be extricated, they were transported to Harbor UCLA Hospital because of the extrication, and Harbor Hospital is also a trauma center. As indicated earlier, there's also a second vehicle accident with no injuries. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Deputy Gonzalez. I'm assigned to Lomita Sheriff Station. I'm the handling Deputy Carlos Gonzalez. I was the first unit on scene, and I'm the handling deputy for the uh, for this current traffic collision. Deputy Gonzalez, could you speak to that question? Um, there's an LA County fire captain who said that uh, Tiger Woods was able to stand as they assisted him out of, out of the vehicle. Is there any truth to the idea that he was able to stand? Unfortunately, Mr. Woods was not able to stand under his own power. Um, our partners at LA County Fire were able to um, extricate him from the vehicle, and they put him onto a backboard. Uh, when I arrived on the scene, uh, Mr. Woods was uh, seated in the driver's seat. Um, I made contact with him and I ensured that he was able to speak to me. Um, at that time, he seemed that as, as though he was still calm and lucid. Um, I made the determination that it would be safer to wait for LA County Fire to help remove him instead of trying to remove him myself. Um, I, I kept Mr. Woods calm until uh, LA County Fire arrived on scene. What did you do to keep him calm, Deputy? Uh, I spoke to him. You know, I asked, conversation? Can you share with us, please? I asked him what his name was. Um, he told me his name was Tiger, and at that moment I immediately recognized him. Um, I asked him if he knew where he was, um, what time of day, just to make sure he was oriented. Um, he seemed as though he was lucid and, uh, and calm. Was he concerned about his injuries? He didn't seem concerned of his injuries at the time, um, which is not uncommon in traffic collisions. Many times people tend to be in shock. Um, it's a traumatic experience. So it's not uncommon for people to be focused on unimportant things, or even if they are in pain, they might not feel it until much later. As mentioned by the sheriff, that specific stretch of roadway is one of our, our trouble spots. Our locals in Rancho Palos Verdes and Rolling Hills Estates know that it's a hot spot for traffic collisions as well as speed. Um, in my experience as a deputy who is traffic trained and works a traffic car, um, I have seen many collisions. The, the nature of his vehicle, the fact that he was wearing a seatbelt, um, I, I would say that it greatly increased the likelihood that it saved his life.